G'day, it's Shane here from Winery Grape TV and thank you for joining me in my home bar. But more importantly, thank you for helping me bring McLaren Bar wine to the world. Today I thought, well, you know, near the end of summer, where uh, vintage has started and, uh, you know, maybe start looking forward to things. So I thought, what are we looking forward to? Now for me, looking forward to uh, cool, cool winter and I'm thinking fortified wines. So I thought, let's let's organise something for me to share with you from a fortified wine. So I thought, nothing better than the Oliver's Taranga. It's called the Banished. It's a fortified Grenache, and it's 20 years old. There you go. Hope you can get a decent view of that. Uh, it's in a, uh, I think this is a 375ml bottle. It says it on here somewhere. And... Uh, but they only release a small amount each year. Uh, demand normally outstrips their supply. Uh, can't remember how much it costs. Uh, but I thought an interesting wine to check with you. Now you can see there it's quite dark, browny colours. And again, I don't know if you can see it on there, but uh, quite long legs of uh, wine running down the glass which normally indicates high alcohol. So the banished Oliver's Taranga. Oliver's have just uh, celebrated last year their 170th year of uh, grape growing and wine making in McLaren Vale. And a big hello to the Oliver's crew. And I'm looking forward to doing the wanky thing with this wine. Now straight away, I get the tingle on the nose from the alcohol. Now that's expected from uh, this fortified wine. I'm also getting a little bit of burnt caramel character coming through. So that's telling me again, um, age. Age in barrel. I'm getting a little bit of hint of um, some florals on the edge there. And interesting for me, it's not quite as thick as I was expecting. Um, 20 years old, it's potentially being blended with other things. In a Solera system, I think they run with that. I can actually tell this is Grenache. Um, I've tried fortified wines just from Grenache, fortified wines from Shiraz and from others. But I'm getting a real Grenache hint through here, which is it's hard, a little bit hard to explain. But it is definitely Grenache based, which of course is what they say it is. Yeah, so there's a bit of, bit of treacle in there. Uh, that burnt caramel, as I said. A little bit of floralness, floralness if you like, on the outskirts. And there's a lusciousness that uh, even just smelling it's making my mouth water. So let's keep going with the wanky thing. Certainly that lusciousness comes through on the palate. Um, getting a hint of um, spices, concentrated spices on there. Definitely that burnt caramel. Um, that, like I said, that luscious factor is there. One thing is, it's, as I said, it's not as thick as what I was expecting. So it's not engulfing the mouth anywhere near as much. And what I'm finding here as well is that the, the, there's a lot of acid in this wine. And what does that mean? Well, that acid is taking the sugar coating off the palate. Um, but what seems to be happening there a little bit is it's not as long as I was expecting. Um, 
I get the uh, the burnt caramel bits, particularly on the tongue. Uh, but the rest of the mouth, it's actually disappearing reasonably quickly. So it's not that long, luscious um, character that I was expecting. Sure, you can you can you can get that there's a lot of age in there, um, and that uh, uh, that that little bit of green tea character, the little bit of um, uh, the burnt caramel, all those things I've mentioned before coming through. And the colour certainly shows off that there's an age here, but I, it's interesting. I'm not getting the uh, the mouth feel, the luscious mouth feel. Yeah, it's luscious on the palate. Don't get me wrong, but just that the mouth feel is different uh, to what I was expecting, and a little bit short compared to what I was expecting as well. Now don't get me wrong, I'm not mentioning that they are faults, I'm just saying that's not quite what I was expecting. Um, this is a wine that just screams out the old classic, the port, the chocolates, the port, the cheese with the dried fruits. And you know what I'd really love with this? A soft blue cheese. Right, there's some really interesting characters that you get from the soft blue cheese, and there's a lot of character in this wine. I mentioned that the wine's a little bit short, shorter than what I was expecting, but up to that point, there is lots and lots of character in there. That green tea, um, the, the, the burnt caramel, uh, there's lots and lots of things to, to keep the mouth interested. So if you had something highly flavoured like the, 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 the blue cheese with this, I just think it would go really, really well. Some Muscatel dried grapes. Um, sounds marvellous. In front of an open fire with the girlfriend or the missus or the significant other, maybe that's the best way I should say it. Be hard pressed to do better than that. Mm. Anyway, that's all we have time for Lone Grape TV today. I've had a great time sharing um, The Banished with you from Oliver's Taranga Vineyards and I hope you've enjoyed that too. So you guys have a great week. More importantly, have a safe week, and I'll see you next time. Thanks, guys.